Hello and welcome back. My name is Chris Parker with ParkerPhotographic.com and this is chapter 6 of 12 for my free Luminar Neo course. In this Luminar Neo tutorial, you'll discover how to get the most out of the Crop AI tool to, well, crop your images like a pro. If you are ready, let's do it. So one of the first things that I like to do before I adjust the tonal values in my image is to crop the image to give it a stronger composition. And there's four ways we can do this in Luminar Neo via the Crop AI tool. And we can either select a pre-existing aspect ratio. We can type in a custom aspect ratio. We can also use the Composition AI tool that will use artificial intelligence to automatically compose your image to be a stronger image or you can manually adjust your composition. So let's look at each one of these options in a little bit more detail. So the aspect ratio original is based on an eight by 12 aspect ratio or four by six. If you need to switch from vertical to horizontal, you can click on this little button right here to do that. Now, if you need a different type of aspect ratio, let's say you wanna do an eight by 10, you can come in and select four by five to get that aspect ratio. Now, I just mentioned that the original is eight by 12 or four by six. So that means when you select four by five or eight by 10, if you wanna do an eight by 10 print, you're going to lose two inches of your image. So it's not going to permanently delete those pixels. So it's non-destructive. So if I go ahead and apply this, and then come back into the crop tool, you'll see that those pixels are still there in case you need to readjust the composition. So don't worry about seeing this darker area outside of this grid. It's not going to remove or crop those pixels permanently. So again, you can select your aspect ratio that you need for your specific intended output. For example, maybe you need a size for Instagram that would either be four by five or square. So you can select those aspect ratios from here. If you want a five by seven print or 11 by 14, you would select the five by seven aspect ratio from here. Two by three would be four by six, eight by 12, et cetera. And then we have some other options here as well. Now they also have a Facebook feed and Facebook cover aspect ratio as well, so that it fits into that size for your Facebook cover. If you need a specific size, let's say maybe for your website, you can go ahead and type in that aspect ratio from here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back to original. And actually, if we go in here and select free, it's not going to confine it to a specific aspect ratio. So if we click on a side or a corner, it's free. So you can basically create any aspect ratio size that you want. It's not going to conform to these specific aspect ratios here. So I'm gonna go back to original. And like I mentioned, if you want to adjust this manually, you can grab a corner or a side and then drag in or out to resize that composition or to crop it even more. Then you can click on the inside and drag around the image to place that composition exactly where you want it. And you can also rotate, if you place your cursor on the outside here, you're gonna see these double arrows and then you can click and drag around to rotate the image as needed. And to reset, if you need to reset and go back to the original, just click on this arrow right here. All right, so Composition AI is going to use artificial intelligence to automatically compose your image to be stronger than what it currently is, at least in theory. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. So this might be a starting point for you to see if it's going to give you a composition that works well for that particular image. And I say in theory because it's going to base its decision on what is known as the rule of thirds, which is a composition technique. Now, I'm not sh for sure this is how it was programmed to do, but that's kind of the sense that I get when I apply the composition AI button to images. It kind of gives me that rule of thirds, which basically means your subject should be placed in these four quadrants right here, where these grids intersect. And when your subject is on one of those, it makes for a stronger composition. Again, this is a compositional rule. Rules are meant to be broken, and that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for every image. 
So if I click Composition AI button here, it's going to try and compose that image based on that rule of thirds. And it's placing the subject in this bottom quadrant right here. And to me, this particular edit or this crop doesn't work well for this image. At least in my opinion, I think there's too much empty space up in here. I would rather see this downy woodpecker that I captured at Point Pelee National Park more in this quadrant up here. Let's go ahead and move them. So I think that's a little bit better. I like to have a little space between objects along the edge here, but I think this is a stronger composition versus what the Composition AI gave me. So just use it as a starting point and then adjust as needed. All right, I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And I'm going to go in and select a different image here with the horizon because there's a cool little tool in here, horizon alignment that will auto align your horizon to make it straight. So now it's not crooked. It wasn't that crooked before, but it does a pretty good job of fixing that alignment for you. Now, if you need to flip your image, you can do that with these buttons here. You can also rotate as well. All right, so watch this essentials video tutorial next so you can learn how to edit your images in Luminar Neo.